Minecraft Mentor here, and we're back in our Let's Play, and we got a little wandering trader over here, but uh, today we're going to be finishing up the factory. I think we need to build a tree farm, a proper tree farm of sorts, uh, maybe a greenhouse or something in this episode, but we're definitely going to finish up the factory for sure, without a doubt. Uh, we need to get that power going, and then we need to feed it with uh, a lot of different materials, so we might be building some farms, or at least starting them, but I wanted to check out this little guy over here actually i've already looked at him and you're not gonna believe this look let's open it up let's check your trades okay moss blocks that's all good and everything but ultra vector plates and i just looked them up you can't even craft these right you can only get up to extreme oh this can be so great for uh a mob farm i don't have a huge amount of emeralds i haven't been trading with the villagers but we got a few so i'm gonna pick them up and hopefully uh I wonder if we could save this guy, maybe name tag him and lock him up. Uh, maybe we should let him in our house. Honestly, with trades that good, we need to keep him around. But emeralds. Okay, let's see how many we can get. Oh, he's only going to allow us to. He's only going to allow us to trade for four. I need probably like 50 of these things. Uh, let's come on in, bud. Oh, well, anyways, let's get this episode started. I'm excited. Wait, wait. Before we get the episode started, let's see. Let's see these things. How lightning fast is lightning fast? Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna... Ooh. That's so crazy fast. I can't wait to use these, but... Oh, I almost blew, took out my floor there. Let's get into the episode and uh, get our factory all completed up on this top floor. Uh, middle floor, we decided that this thing was gonna be... Kind of like the pipes and the cables and things. We can hide some of that stuff in the middle floor. And then the bottom floor, we'll do some create stuff. We're going to do some cleanup also. Uh, Halloween's over. We're headed. We're already headed into Thanksgiving. I can't believe it. Uh, it's a couple weeks away now. But let's clean all this up. And if you noticed, I put a couple blocks in here. We want to break up the brick a little bit. Not sure how I feel about this, this block here and the, that the crosshair is on. These two right here, I might take those out. I mean, obviously granite goes really well with the brick. Might have to find something else that's out here. And uh, we're going to do a proper tree farm. We'll take this simple one out. We'll get some auto planters and whatnot. Probably, I'll probably put it in the same spot, honestly. I don't think I have anything really going on here for this. And yeah, let's do it. Let's, uh, that's the plan. And uh, ooh, can I put this on my porch? Let's go. I've been fooling around with this jump pad way too much and I know you see if you walk onto this thing it it launches you down on the path but if you jump <laughs> we just cleared the entire factory are you kidding uh, I'm having too much fun with this thing I can't wait to get some mobs on it and see what we can do I wonder if we place a slime block underneath it or something to bounce and it'll just send them off into outer space we'll see I love this vector plate it's it's like a little fast travel. I just knock us on out here. I'm thinking I'm gonna take concrete and maybe blend this a little bit out into here. 
But uh, I wanted to guys show you guys before we went into the factory uh, what we're going to do. I named our horse. Okay, so first, well, we named... He's gone. How'd you get out? Oh, anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, he must have climbed on top of the brewing stand, and this will make sense. It was so much sense in a second. Let's let's get let's get that back. Boop. All right. We'll, we'll look at you in a second. So this horse we named Chip uh, after one of somebody commented on the channel or on the video a couple videos ago. We named it Chip. Next we have Ash, which is it's kind of an ashy color, very very fitting name, but this last horse I decided to name something different, and it happened to be Halloween, and on Halloween, uh, we watch two movies. We watch Hocus Pocus, and obviously Hocus Pocus 2 now, I guess he wanted to hang out with the pigs, and we also watch uh, an entire series. We binge watch it, or at least I do with my daughter. Uh, it's one of my favorite series, so we named this horse after Severus Snape, except for it's Snivellus. And Snivellus, you need to go. Sorry, you're going back into your your uh, potion brewing room here, your little dungeon. Maybe I should place it. Oh, I don't. I think he got up on the edge and then walked across. Maybe let's let's try it. Your Snivellus, move over. Come on. There we go. You got your brewing stand. You can make us some potions of luck. Maybe maybe that's how you got out. You used uh, a high jump potion. I think you'll be all right now, but uh, let's head up and make our... doing a little bit of off camera work. We built some energy cubes. Uh, we charged them with the solar up here. We've got a couple up there right now trying to charge up. It does take a long time for these little solar panels, and uh, it actually blocked out our elevator from being used for quite a bit. Uh, just charging these two up. And what we got so far is a full tank of ethanol, and it used almost the entire advanced energy cube. We're going to have to pop them back up in there for a little bit but same thing over here we got plant oil that used up even more and then finally in the middle we've got full tanks here but i realized you know what i'm missing a key ingredient here besides besides the power cube that's up there but we're actually missing uh nitrate dust this is what it goes through the plant oil and ethanol passes through the nitrate gives us our biodiesel so uh it's getting dark now okay all we need to do is make a crusher I think I'm going to push it right up against the wall. So crushers are, if, I think if I get this off memory right, they're three wide. Three wide, two tall like that. You need that. It goes like this. I think that's right. And then we're going to go steel fencing. Why don't we just look at our book? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm close. Let's stop it from moving. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're good there. The steel fence goes, oh, it goes up against the... All right, we were we were close. We were close. I was doing it off memory. Uh, I think I saw an engineering block in the middle here. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay, so fence, 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 and then light engineering block. And I believe I saw the redstone. It's pretty dark over here, isn't it? I don't know how much you can see on, on YouTube's. It's really, really dark. And an engineering block here. And I think after that, it's just adding uh, hoppers up top, right? Always always look at your engineer's manual. Yeah, so we're going to cover all the things right here. I don't have power. Maybe I'll just snatch up one of the cubes. Hey, there's some light. Look, windows. Maybe we should add some on this floor or on this wall here. So... Do that there. And if everything went right, uh, one of these, I think it's, there it is. Okay, cool. So it's facing the right way, just like we wanted. Uh, generally, it faces the way, if you saw those two engineering blocks on this side, that means the output's right here. Now all we got to do is power this thing up. It looks like power's right here. Yep. Let's see if we can snatch up one of our extra cubes or if they don't have enough energy. That's not a lot. That's that's really not a lot. Let's take this one since it's already done working. It's already configured to output power too. If we can throw it right there. Can we climb on this machine? Is there a way for us to get up here? Let's let's just use some scaffolding. Now, if we fall in here, we're dead. But maybe we can just throw that in there. Will it work? All right, awesome. Okay, okay. It crushed. 
we don't have an oh it just dumped the sand out right here did it is that what are we missing what are we missing here it did crush up some sand i think we need a container so maybe if we put a hopper here i was kind of hoping that would work but we might have to put a chest or a pipe here and then i don't think it gave us that little of sand off of hmm okay yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, why it's only doing that once we throw in a little bit, but we got to keep doing this until we get nitrate dust out of this sand. So let's, uh, I'll just get myself a container and be right back. So I threw down a chest and it just turned out I threw the stuff too far. That was a little bit confused, but you got to get it thrown in the center here and it crushes it up just fine. Uh, let's get the rest in here to crush it all up, get ourselves some nitrate dust and then we'll, hey, oh my God, we got a lot. Okay. We only, I think we only need like one. It doesn't like, as far as I know, older versions didn't actually consume the nitrate dust. So now that that's in there, we could snatch up our energy cube here. We'll have to fill these back up at some point because, you know, reasons. But it looks like, are we working? We've got fuel. We've got plant oil and ethanol. I believe that's all we need. Maybe it's making it, but we don't know it is. This is interesting. All right, I'm going to have to look into this. Maybe uh, it looks like we've got energy and everything we need. I wonder if it's automatically output. Oh, it is. Okay, okay. It is making it. It's just because uh, we already have these tanks filled up. It made it look like these ones weren't lowering. I got it. I mean, it makes sense, right? We've already made about four or five buckets of biodiesel. So I'm going to continue on with this, and we got to get the rest of the parts for our biodiesel engine we could put in somewhere in here i think getting really close to finishing off uh, all the materials we need for our big generator here and i just wanted to show you a quick little trick that you can use here so if you have the stuff in your inventory you just hover over top of this question mark and it tells you what you need next so let's say we come over here uh, we grab our electrum block and then we type in generator right down here in the bottom just click that and then bam Check on your book again, and now it says we need nine radiator blocks, which I don't think we can make the radiators just yet. Uh, we're really lacking on the steel. I've got plenty of copper, though. Maybe we might be able to do a couple. You know what it is? I think we're just missing... We're missing just the water, maybe? How many do we need? Like, I know we needed a lot for the back. I actually didn't expect to be able to, to make that many, so we just check our book again. Oh, we got nine radiator blocks, so we got enough to make it. Awesome. Uh, well, that's the downside of that thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's head up and make this uh, diesel generator that's going to get our factory fully functioning almost. Besides, you know, some machines here and there, we want to we wanna speed up quite a bit. But let's head on up. So from here, we just need to uh, put these up, right? And then fill this all in with heavy engineering blocks. I believe we do this and this. I'm going to have to put a couple scaffoldings here just to get back up if I need to get down. So there you go. There's that layer. One more up is just heavy engineering blocks and our radiators. So like that, like that, like that. With any luck, uh, we should just click. Is it this one? One of the, which Maybe it was the front one. There we go. Nice. Okay, we've got... This is a huge step because my plan is to really just build a bunch of these electric motors here. So instead of running immersive engine or create everywhere, even though we do have create power down down there, it's not very good and we need some speed controllers. This allows us to actually control the speed on each individual machine like right at the source, right? So uh, all we need to do now is run the pipes from down on the second floor over up through here. Let's pop a hole. I think we could do two of them actually just two inputs i might put it on the back side and see how that goes just so it's kind of hidden and then i think uh, i will we're gonna have to make pipe that's for sure once this thing is running it is super loud we'll probably do some redstone controls in here to be able to i don't know maybe we'll break out a wall over here and have a control room that kind of actually sounds good to me maybe i'll even put a staircase up up a little higher so the control room overlooks the uh the power room here in the, the immersive engineering room but 
Hey, I'm going to go craft some pipes. Uh, I might even do some work on this, and then by the time we're back, we'll start up our diesel gen. A little, little better fast travel. We threw it up a level. Uh, so this room is all set up for the most part. We did have to make an alloy kiln in here to make the insulated glass for this relay, but all of our power is going to our machines. Uh, this thing is up and running, but we don't have automated uh, seeds or tomatoes, really. Uh, I threw in some pipes here to, to push the tomatoes up in here earlier, but uh, we disconnected part of it because we need to automate it, especially the seed production. So we got to go down a floor and let's check out. Uh, there's not a lot going on down here. I moved this barrel over here and we're growing some power down. Here's where our, our fuel is coming in from our pipes. And then we need tomatoes to go here, but uh, we also need tomatoes to come out, right? So I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to do this in in a certain way. So let's let's just go with what we needed to do first, which is make our auto crafting for the seeds and I think it's in simple machinery. It might be in heavy. So we're looking for the assembler, right? Let's pause that. First layer. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So we probably should just throw it in right here. That's not how we build that. Redstone blocks, some engineering blocks. We need all this stuff. I believe that's how the next layer goes. And then these and these. Let's, we'll have to check out our book again. I, I love the assemblers, though. They have a feature to them that not a lot of other things do have. So, okay. We want it to go... Uh, we're going to be feeding the tomatoes in from this side. So we want the belts to run that way light engineering block and i think after this we just need to fill it in with oh let me out that there and grab our nifty little engineer's hammer is it the center block or do we click this maybe you know what the book tells us use the resources it says we click on this so the next layer up was let's watch it build Pretty sure we got this right. Oh, it's the other. Okay. Okay. This is what we want. We need to take the engineering blocks out of here. Right. Then we're going to put them on the sides. So heavy or uh, redstone engineering. Redstone here uh, and scaffolding. Now this should technically work, hopefully, because if not, Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, awesome. Now all we have to do is pipe in the tomatoes. I think we might have to go up one. We didn't grab our configurator. I will be back. So I decided to take the machine, put it over here, because I'm like, why would we not put it right here? Because we need the tomatoes to come in here, make seeds, come out of here. We might make some sort of storage here, I think. Uh, let's get rid of that torch. And then send them right up into the machine. Why would we not do that? We might not even do storage for this one. Uh, I wonder if we do the configurator, if it allow that. We might have to put a chest here, but... Yeah, let's let's see if we put a chest there. It'll, it'll do the trick. Oh, you know what? We're not even producing anything yet. We need to power it. All right, let's go up top. Tomatoes are flowing in. We just throw that there, run it right into cable. I didn't even need to do that. Okay, we're all powered up. Is it making tomatoes? It's got power. It has a recipe. Hmm. Wait, let me see. Okay, it's just like last time. I'm a victim of that. I'm expecting it to show up in here for a second, but it doesn't. It, it goes over here. Now all we got to do from here, I might make a vault for this one, but I think we're just going to throw it right in. So uh, configurator right here, pulls the seeds out, sends it right up. And then once this completely backs up, uh, we'll have it send off all the extra tomatoes over to our 
Well, we don't even have to really do a system at, do we? We could put a vault here, but I almost don't want to. I could probably just bring these up top, connect it in over there. So I decided to take the, the uh, weighted out approach to this one. All of the tomatoes are going to go in here and get crafted up. It'll fill this inventory. I put a double chest here now, so it's going to fill all of this inventory before it. Well, you know what? We don't even need a double chest here, actually. Let's keep it a single chest. And uh, once this completely fills up, uh, we're going to run out of ethanol, obviously. So it's just going to continue to fill this up. And then once it's completely filled up, whenever it needs uh, tomatoes, they're going to come over here and then it'll kind of swap back and forth. But it does take a little bit longer. My original plan was just to make it complicated where uh, the tomatoes would come into the vault like so. Well, I can I can show you. We're going to do this later on at some point, I think. Uh, maybe an upgrade to this system or when we get a real, you know, real power system going. So uh, a level emitter would be on each machine telling how much it has in it. And then we would do brass funnels. So this one would shoot out tomatoes and this one would shoot out tomatoes directly into this thing. But I went with the simple approach. Sometimes the simple approach is just so much better. We've been working on the tree farm here. I don't actually have a building yet, but we have built out all the mechanics. This took a while to do uh, a lot of testing and fooling around with redstone and whatnot. I'm probably going to tutorial on this one if, uh, you know, if somebody comments they want the tutorial for this because it's going to be a long one and it's not easy. So uh, right now we've got it. So the up, well, up here cuts down the trees and saplings come into here. When it comes back here, it's going to drop its saplings into this chest. So let's just fill up our planter here. But what happens when it overflows? It's just going to continuously uh, put stuff in here. And we don't want that. So I uh, came up with this little plan. We're going to place lava here, a chute here. Uh, we need a hopper going down into the chute. So it's going to pull them from here down in there. I forgot the redstone. You know, we don't want all our saplings to burn up while we're, we're doing this. So uh, we're going to throw in a threshold limiter whoops that's not where we want that uh, we want it down and it looks like it's still still burning up some saplings uh, we want it on the chest so it's going to detect how many are in the chest and then give out a signal based on that so i forgot the redstone again let's place uh i think we need to go out so it needs to like run into the hopper so it's going to give off its signal and come back around let's get that redstone oh uh, I do have a plan to make a building that goes completely around this thing. I might even build three more, maybe maybe one more. Do I have any redstone? Oh, thank, thank the goods. We have redstone. All right, so uh, we're probably going to mimic this over one and maybe even one more. But this one's going to be for oak. Uh, I've got a plan to where this is going to be completely enclosed, but we're still going to be able to grow large trees if we want to. So. If, we're, if we did this right, uh, we place that there. It's going to give a threshold, and then it's going to run right into the hopper. We need a block there to get that signal. Uh, let's go over. Can we access our chest from somewhere? Is our, is our chest completely? Oh, I guess we could throw it up here. All right, so it sounds like it's burning them, but it is filling up. So we want an invert signal. All right, perfect. So what it's going to do is wait till our saplings get to this point. I want to put our threshold up a little bit more than this, though. Uh, we don't want it to burn all our saplings up here. So once it gets to here, it's going to drop down, start burning up the saplings until it gets to about there, and then it's going to go back on. So that's all and well good. Now we want to test this thing. So we made ourselves a couple motors here. Uh, what we need to do is get our energy cube. I'm probably going to run power underground over to there or maybe some power pulls to the building itself, but we want to place down that. I'm going to use a fence. And we need a relay right here, not a connector. So relay. Put connectors on the cube. And then here, I've set these already because I want the planting process to be slower than the cutting. So that way when it plant, well, you'll see. Uh, that to there, that to there. And we should be operational. Okay, it's spinning. This one's not. Hmm. Okay, let's click this. All right, there we go. 
So hopefully if this works out right, uh, that's going to go down there. Uh, we've got saplings in our planter now. I've got it running slow on purpose right now. We want to conserve the energy in the cube just for testing, but okay. Bounced back. That's good. Everything's looking good so far. Uh, the planner. I hope the planner works. Okay. It should come back and then the planner should go. Oh, it's going and it's going slow on purpose because assume there's going to, Oh my, Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be so great. Assume there's already saplings here. So by the time it gets back, it's going to sit there and this thing's going to plant and plant and plant and plant until it is kind of slow, isn't it? But uh, we want the trees to grow before that hits the end. That way, uh, that's going to signal this to actually come back. So uh, maybe we could do one of those high speed things like when a tree grows and it and well, you know. So we did a little bit of investigating where were those saplings coming from it's actually right here so what's happening is this has got saplings in it when it comes back here this automatically takes off so it's not enough time for it to go uh, into the chest or maybe the smart shoot doesn't even work that way i don't know i thought it could go right into a chest i might have to use a brass funnel but uh my solution to that is simple all we have to do is uh come down here ouch uh once it's well we're gonna break we're gonna break that redstone so everything resets back to the beginning but what we need here is instead of it going forward right away we just need a little bit of a delay so we do time delay let's say uh, not seconds we definitely don't want seconds let's let's do two seconds that should be enough for it to work its way in there and then we do our piston at 21 right boom double speed it back right 22 meters that should do the trick so next time actually uh, since we did that we need this we're trying to do a little bit of a test here because before when this was coming back it wasn't enough time for the chute to send it into the chest and I didn't even know if it would actually work so we've got saplings here there are 46 saplings those should technically uh, have enough time now to empty out before it goes. I think it worked this time because last time there were saplings sitting on top of this. So I think we fixed our, our uh, loose sapling issue here. And yeah, I think it worked because there was every time it came back, it had a, a stack of saplings sitting right here. And now there's none. So we fixed that. And also, if you notice, we added in uh, our little barrel storage. So for now, this should work. But these only hold like I think eight thousand, the advanced ones, and we're not we're not anywhere near having diamonds enough for for uh, the elite stuff yet. But it would be nice to get there. I'm gonna let this run for a bit and uh, put some machines up in there because we do have some other immersive engineering stuff to do, and maybe when we get back, uh, we'll finally have a design to go around this building. And maybe I don't know if I'm gonna start on this today. This is this was a whole big project on its own, so. Uh, I need to clear some land out and figure out a design for this before before I do that because I kind of want some space in between for storage and and uh, we might use some ender chests. I think we've got enough ender pearls to start teleporting items different places versus piping them and uh, yeah, let's do that. So we've been working on the factory a little bit in between here and and the tree farm. Uh, we're gonna oh there's a torch there okay we need to find a way to light this place up but for now i guess it's okay but we filled in a few machines i didn't get everything i wanted to we're definitely not going to be able to play up yeah put a uh arc furnace in here i barely even got an assembler and i had to power it through here but can you hear this thing this saw blade it's so loud but it's super fast check this out strips it in here if we take out the blade we can actually just uh strip logs the bark but it converts it down to planks, and then if you send it through again, it can go 
uh, into oak slabs. But we don't want this thing running all the time like that. It's kind of annoying. So we're going to place down a link here. Uh, we need logs. We're going to put log, log. Oh, let's just do, you know what? Let's do log hopper because I don't know if it's log, log over there and I don't want them interfering with each other. So let's turn that on and then head on up into our, our little uh, control room right here. Toss down one of these guys. What was it? It was hopper on the bottom log on top and I didn't bring a lever yeah let's go grab a lever all right we got our lever let's throw that in and oh the blade shut off perfect okay and we've got this one for the diesel gen so I think we might just do hopper underneath all of these uh, let's get down here hopefully I didn't oh that was pretty risky actually these wires will kill me instantly uh, but we can shut the diesel generator off from up there, and I'm probably going to link in a few more machines, but I really wanted to get that that saw blade shut off. Uh, diesel generator is running just fine. All our tanks are filled up now. Uh, this is super dangerous right here. I, I really shouldn't jump off, but we've got a workbench now. Uh, we need to pop a hole in the floor here. And it's really, really dark. I'm wondering if we could put some lighting up top, but we've got a lot of stuff hanging here. It's, uh, I don't want to interfere with our wires. Got to pop a hole right here. So that's going to be uh, pumping fluids up into here. And I might put, I might put our mixer that we have outside the building down a floor. So whatever we mix up, it'll go up into the bottler, and then, then we can bottle everything up, you know, over here. Which we're probably going to do redstone because we need that redstone fluid to to oxidize the copper super fast. And then this little guy right here. Our, our stamping press. I only got one mold. We got to make some more. I don't know where I'm going to store the molds. Maybe back here in a chest or something. We'll figure it out. Or maybe above. I don't know. We'll have a rack hanging. All the other stuff. The alloy kiln. I think I might move over here. We weren't able to get a blast furnace in here either. I might. I could move the benches a little bit. And maybe. We'll see if we need this assembler. Because we might actually swap it out for, for a different machine. But we just had to energy cube it up. And I was looking around. So yeah, the mixer will definitely fit down here. And we've got some other things we can put in there too. But, hey, which. I was looking around inside JEI and I came across this. So what we have is, let's see, if we can look it up, these little diesel generators. So this is a create add-on again. And these can run off oil, I believe. So we can take our biodiesel up there, right? And feed it with gasoline or whatever. And this thing will create rotational energy off the liquids. So that might be another energy source that we use down here. But I saw this little thing right here. It's called the oil detector. So in order to find oil, we just give it a click. It searches for oil. It says no oil found. And then we move on somewhere else. So I might, I'm going to carry this thing around while we look for a sniffer, but, uh, Let's go finish up what we have going on with the tree farm, and then we're going to go look for some oil and a stiffer, I think. Come here. Always interrupting my videos. Before we go on our grand journey to find a sniffer, which we've been complete failures at, here is the tree farm. I know it's not fancy looking, uh, but we got some stuff to do on the outside. I finished up the incredibly expensive inside. Here's a, here's a little access door for now, but... Actually, it's not even running right now. Let's let's get that going. We'll get it going in a second. But here's our tree farm. Uh, cost a lot of copper and a whole lot of brass. Uh, we're pretty much tapped out. So while we're adventuring, we're gonna we're gonna do some uh, you know mining and stuff. But right here, we've got room for all the different kinds of wood. Right now, we're just we're just doing oak. I did a little bit of spruce to help out uh, with some builds and things. But we got to get this thing running and. Is this motor running? Okay, the motors are still running. We've got it hooked up to the power up in the building like we said we would. Now all we got to do is... Actually, I think we just got to click this button and it should go. Nice. I don't want to get electrocuted. How do I get back out of here? Oh, right. That's why I made this door. Because once that takes off, you can't go through the, uh, the little secret door here. But it's doing great. It's working perfectly. And it's just sending our wood right here, which we'll collect. At some point, I want to teleport the wood. But I was trying to make this like a... 
you know, kind of a little hidden entrance, I guess, tucked away so you don't you don't see it and whatnot. But uh, we throw our saplings in here. So if we want to convert over from from these, and you can see, uh, maybe wood here wasn't the best choice, but it'll be, uh, actually the ones that are touching wood won't they won't disappear. So we might swap the wood out for something else if it gets annoying. It's not really bothering us right now, uh, but I did. There we go. We got our plant going. I tossed in some torches, so it's way more efficient when it's growing. But, like, I can't grow jungle saplings in here. Uh, that's an issue. So we came up with a solution, and, well, here it is. Why not just open up the roof? Look at that. Perfect example. We can just open up the roof if we want the tall trees. And it's so perfect that one just, just grew right there. Or a cutting thing will come by and knock it down. But yeah, that's that's our solution if we wanted to grow jungle saplings or super tall. We actually did grow some super tall spruces in here once they were they're all next to each other. You can see we got some podsol, but yeah, this is the tree farm. I'm gonna do more on the outside, probably change out the wood, I think, actually. And you know, we wanna just close it back up, just give the button a click, seal it all off, make it safe again, and uh yeah, let's go, let's go do our thing. Just thought I'd show you this because I talked about it in last episode. Maybe even in this episode I might have. But so you can see our base is over 3,000 blocks away. We're trying to find a new ocean to check out. But while we were here, I uh, threw down a waystone because we want to collect these. Check it out. This is a witch monster spawner. Oh, this is going to be so useful for us. Redstone, you know, glowstone, all the all the stuff that witches drop is going to be amazing. Our problem is, is we got to get this thing back. I've got ideas, but that is a long way, so uh, we definitely can't waste on it back. But I think next episode we've we finally collected enough of these, or the locations of them at least, to uh, make some sort of farm out of them that will be super useful. We need those blaze rods, and uh, we gotta get start, you know, playing the Minecraft game, not just the mod game. We gotta dive into some Ender Dragons and some other things. Can't forget about those, right? So. I think next episode we might start prepping, but we got to get this thing this thing going for the drops so we can get some cool potions and whatnot. But on back to our adventures looking for the sniffer egg. Well, once again, our quest for the sniffer egg didn't turn out how we wanted. We did find some oil behind us. Uh, I used uh, Severus Snape's potion brewing lab back in the uh, horse barn to get ourselves an advantage with the night vision, but just wore off. But... Yeah, it wasn't all bad. We did find some oil. Uh, we got a couple temples here, and we turned up some smithing templates and a few various potions, or not potions, but uh, magic scrolls here. It was, so it, it wasn't completely uh, a loss. Also, we found a mushroom island, actually a chain of mushroom, mushroom island, so I guess it's not all bad. Too bad, though, I spent two hours and didn't turn up a sniffer egg. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.